Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien in Bubba. This afternoon, Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. And I wanted to continue part two on the message to Brook Center, Minnesota. City and residents. And like I said in my other video, we didn't know much of the facts other than it was a bench warrant. It turns out that there was more than that. According to the papers, they're posting stuff out there. But I still stick with my story that I did before. That the city, the police department, the district attorney's office, and the residents of cities the size of Brook Center uh, should get together once a month there and uh, tell the people what they have. Like Mr. Wright here, he had big issues. Okay. And he was due to be arrested because he had violated his bail. And it was revoked. So the news say. But anyway, he was due for being arrested. There was a warrant out for him. Okay. Uh, not only a bench warrant, but another warrant. So he actually had two warrants out for him. But still. And this does not excuse the officer, okay? This does not excuse the police department and the city of Brook Center or the family of Mr. Wright himself. Because according to the newspapers that they posted today, he was driving without a license and he had committed all these infractions. In this case, okay, what I would have done if I were the officer with the type of warrants that she probably saw on his computer. And like I said, that is hearsay because I'm not privileged to what she was looking at in her police car's computer for determined warrant. Did it just say warrant or did it say he was wanted for this and wanted for that? And as a police officer, one person, you're there for policing. Okay, uh, you're not there to interpret the laws and act as you see fit as a police officer. There is a difference there. Law enforcement is different than the old-fashioned lawman. There's a difference between the old-fashioned lawman of sheriffs of the old days and law enforcement today. She was one person, had this guy who had already committed and was alleged to have committed a crime against a woman, assault, okay? And robbery to her. He was scheduled to be adjudicated on that. He got bail by whoever judge issued a bail. That's kind of crazy, but they did. And here's the problem that I'm having with this. And that you, family members of Mr. Wright, should have with this instead of being over there going, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm not excusing the right that he's dead, okay? I'm just saying, here's the problem that we have with this on all sides. Number one, the side that gave him bail. Number two, the side that understood what his problems were and still let him have it. Oh, we don't want to report him. We're not snitches. And I understand that from African Americans. Believe me. It's not being snitch. It's being a citizen. No matter if he's your brother, son, daughter, uncle, whatever he is. He has violated the law and you better get him in the safety. And if they mistreat him on the law, then you can go after them and really raise havoc. And this racing havoc with the police officer is not right. The police officer is probably 
looking at herself and saying, I killed a person. And trust me, firing weapons, I know how it is. I've done it. Okay? I've killed people. And believe me, you don't just take it like a, oh yeah, unless you're somebody who could care less of lives. And that's what you teach African Americans to do, care less for lives. Black lives matter and everybody else's lives does not. I understand that. But that's not the way to do it. The way to do it is all lives matter, whether you're black, yellow, red, or whatever it is. And in this case, like I said, Brook Center should do exactly what I said in my earlier videos. And they should teach officers, like the officer in question here, 26 years on the job. But she was taught the old way. And that's the way that you have. Law enforcement is a chamber changing thing. Just because you got a badge does not guarantee that you're a good law enforcer. And enforcing the laws does not mean when you see a guy who is wanted on the warrant, you arrest him on the spot. That is not the way to do it. Like I said, I stand before it, even though I read the news reports today of saying what Mr. Wright had done. I still stand with what I said before. She should have given him the ticket. Notify him that he is wanted. And to go to the nearest district attorney's office to surrender himself. And notify the family that they should tell him to do that and walk with him over there to the district attorney's office because you don't trust the police. Because if the police arrest him, the outcome could be like this one, okay? Because he didn't understand or comprehend what the other side's gonna do to you. And this is what I'm saying, African-Americans, this is your problem. You think that you're entitled to do what you want to do, and that's not what it is. Mr. Wright thought that he was entitled to do this, to abuse women, and I know a lot of African Americans that do that. And look at here in Atlanta, I can show you picture after picture and TV after TV program that reports murder, women kill their children, and most of them are black. Black men killing black men, yeah, really. For every white murder, there's about 10 black murders. And you guys are saying, well, well, see, the perception is there. This is your problem, African-Americans. You got a perception issue that we got to deal with. And you got to deal with it as a community of blacks, whites, Muslims, Asians, and Latins, and he, she's, and she, he's, and what's You got to deal with it because you're a community. Therefore, my position on Brook Center's that I told them to do stands every month to get together with the community representatives and say, this is the warrant we have outstanding. You have X amount of days. And he, if the person does not go either to the police station or the district attorney's office, it's open season on them because he's got a warrant. And outside jurisdictions are not going to be as nice as us. Trust me. Some jurisdictions like Chicago will not be as nice. Chicago's got a bad reputation for police. NYPD in New York's got a bad reputation. And LAPD has got a bad reputation. Yeah, and don't forget St. Petersburg in Florida. Atlanta Police Department here. Cobb County uh, Police here has a bad reputation too. A lot of police have bad reputation. Some earn, some not. But if you get together, like I said, and trust is hard to learn and earned. Learned and earned, African Americans. Learned and earned. And I am a Latin descent person here, okay? And I understand what you're saying because I've been through a lot of prejudice in my home country where I was called a poor, deprived citizen in my home country by Americans who didn't know any better. 
So you can't use that you're black and that you've been, oh, we've been victimized for centuries. No, this has got to stop. It is time to put this aside and look at things as a human being person. And look at the police officer. Why did she do what she did? Because that's the way they trained her. That's the way the police is. And that's not policing. That's force. The only way you pull out a weapon to you and fire a weapon is if you're going to get fired upon and somebody's pointing a weapon and firing it on you. Otherwise, you could use and develop lethal weapons, non-lethal weapons like electric shocks. Is it going to kill people? Yeah, because it's not 100%. Just like your bullets are not 100% perfect, no weapon is 100% perfect. You're going to have your deaths. And those we deal on a case-by-case -case basis. But you got to make sure for every 100 million drawn weapons that you have, one death. That is the thing that we in my society do. We do have deaths, and some of them we have to look at the a case that happened. And yes, in the last 100 years, two security officers in my federation have been accused and convicted of murder. Okay? Because they did it on purpose. That is not any university, any universal civilization in this universe or have that issue. But it's time for you, like I said before, to sit down, especially Brook Center City, residents and city personnel, mayor, police, fire, district attorney, and get together and the people that have warrants issued to them against by your jurisdiction or other jurisdictions and they live in your jurisdiction you make sure you know that because if they go outside your jurisdiction they're not going to be treated nice you see what i mean trust trust that's what i'm saying trust is earned and learned something you americans and humans don't understand are you african americans and all of you who live in brook center minnesota going to understand this I doubt it. It's like watermelon is speaking to people with watermelons in their brains. Anyway, this is your favorite alien and Bubba. Prove me wrong. Good day.